Hello everyone, I am Anthropomantic Fiends, and I do horror-related things on the internet. If you're here, you know what this is. This is my 400 subscriber contest. A huge thank you to everyone who has been supporting me since whenever they started subscribing to me, the people who have been with me since the beginning, the people who just subscribed to me. I've become friends with so many wonderful people who love horror and the dark side of life in general and just weird stuff. I just don't know what my life would be like if I didn't have this new family of wonderful, weird people to hang out with. Before I get into the prizes and the questions, I just want to set the rules for this contest. They're pretty much the same rules as my 300 subscriber contest. If you leave a comment on this video answering all of the questions, that will get you one entry into the contest. If you do a video entry, that will get you three entries into the contest. And anybody at all can enter into this contest, as long as you are subscribed to me. You have to be subscribed to me. Whether you're doing a comment or a video, you have to answer all three questions. And if you do make a video, you must leave a link to that video in the comments of this video, otherwise I may not see it. And you have about a month to do this. I think this is like the third week in January, so I'll probably do the drawing in like the third week in February. I'll set a more concrete date when we're closer to it, but you have about a month to do this. I will be doing basically the same method I did before. I will be drawing names out of a hat. Not this hat, because it won't let me. I swear, I, I, I didn't say anything. I'm not giving you away. I, I was just making a joke, okay? Calm down. And it will be process of elimination. Last person's name out of the hat will win the prizes, and if that person does not want one of the prizes or does not want any of the prizes, whatever that person does not want will go to the next runner-up, and if that, that person doesn't want it, it'll go to the next runner-up, and so on. With the rules set, here are the prizes. This awesome wacky wobbler bobblehead of Santa Jack from The Nightmare Before Christmas. A quick thank you to Jilly, Rox the Metal, and Davy Dark for sending this to me along with the Zero bobblehead that they sent me. I did already have a Jack Skellington like this one, but I really do appreciate the gesture and I love the Zero. It is sitting over there on my dresser and it looks wonderful. Having to, I think this needs to go to another loving home. A DVD of Beyond the Wall of Sleep. This is an adaptation of the H.P. Lovecraft story. A DVD copy of Dragon Wasps. This is a fun and somewhat gross action horror film. This giant 50 movie Mill Creek horror classics box set, which has a lot of fantastic movies. Not great prints of the movies, but really, really good movies. You've got lots of low budget Bella Lugosi amazingness. You've got the original Nosferatu and the original Metropolis and Phantom of the Opera, of course. This is what my dad got me as a gift when I was just getting into the wonderful world of horror movies, so this does have a special place in my heart. Last but certainly not least, you will be receiving a sealed Blu-ray copy of The Moth Diaries. This is a really, really good modern gothic horror film directed by Mary Heron, who did American Psycho. I was originally drawn to this movie because of the connections and references it makes to Carmilla, but it really does stand on its own as just this beautiful, eerie horror film that messes with your mind to some extent. So, really good movie, and it's a nice sealed Blu-ray copy. Those are the prizes that you will be receiving if you win. Here are the questions. And unlike when I quizzed everybody when I did my drawing last time, I'm actually going to be answering the questions here and now. Question one, what is your favorite horror movie that is set in a school and why? This can be a movie that takes place entirely in a school or just one that predominantly features a school for a lot of scenes in the film. For example, the original Scream does not entirely take place at the school, but there are a lot of really significant scenes that take place in the school, so I would count that. And my personal favorite would be Anna and the Apocalypse. Probably some of the most 
dark, twisted, and epic scenes in that movie take place in the school. Question two, what is your favorite Phantom of the Opera based movie and why? This can be a adaptation of Phantom of the Opera directly or something loosely inspired by it like Phantom of the Paradise or Phantom of the Mall or all the other Phantom of the fill in the blank movies that exist. And if you do not have a Phantom of the Opera adaptation that you've seen. What is the Phantom of the Opera adaptation or Phantom of the Opera inspired movie that you would like to see most and why? And my personal favorite Phantom of the Opera adaptation is the original 1925 Lon Chaney silent version. Despite it being the version of the music based horror story that literally doesn't have sound, it is a gorgeous to look at film with an amazing recreation of the Paris Opera House and a fantastic performance and makeup job from Mr. Lon Chaney Sr. He really does create a look that really does look like the way the Phantom is described in the book and through this just really grotesque makeup he delivers this amazing performance that's simultaneously really tragic and very very unhinged. And for question three I would like you to name at least two YouTubers who you think are making great content but do not have enough subscribers. They don't have to be horror tubers or movie tubers, they can be literally anybody who you think is underrated you have to do at least two, but you can do more. I am going to list the amazing chiller thriller, amazing rundowns of horror in general, and a fantastic lineup of winter and Christmas horror movies for horror advent. Great production value on her reviews, great sense of humor, and solid insight into all the movies that she's talking about. My second shout out goes to Sai Chi. She has done some horror oriented stuff, but it is just generally a focus on looking at the art of story storytelling be it in books, movies, or other media. She's really well spoken, she knows what she's talking about, and she has great taste in books and movies. I'm going to do one more. My final shout out goes to Space Junk, who has been a friend of mine for a long time. She is a booktuber, talks about books and writing and other such things. Her production value on her videos is probably far and away above mine, but she does not have nearly enough subscribers. She's got like maybe not even 150 at this point. And the subscriber count for the other two I mentioned is far below that, which is just unacceptable. So please subscribe to all of them. I look forward to seeing everyone's entries into the contest. Thank you for watching my video, and hopefully I will see you in another one. Bye!